All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new vlogity vlog. I know it's in my hands. <laughs> so yeah, my throat's a little scratchy today, so I got some three cola to kind of help things out. So apologies for the the scratchiness. And before we begin with the uh, the main news, I want to give some minor YouTube updates. So. I'm going to be releasing my yearly compilation videos for the vlogs, as well as Andy Japandi, uh, before the, the year's end, so be on the lookout for those. And then as for my Osaka and Kyoto videos, I'm going to be working on those during the break. So I would expect those to come out sometime in probably late January, early February, somewhere around there. Maybe earlier, I don't know. That's just kind of the timetable I set for myself as of now. So. Be on the lookout for all that stuff coming very soon. And with that said, let's begin the main update for this video. And that is my new direction moving forward into 2024. So I've done a lot of thinking over these past few weeks, few months, really. And I've decided that with the, the full-time job kind of being the main time priority right now, it's kind of put me in a weird spot as far as making travel content. You know, just whenever I get off work, it's dark and there's not really a whole lot that I can go out and film. And on the weekends, I'm usually pretty tired and the weather's not always the best. So it's just kind of hard to get out and film on a reliable, consistent basis. So rather than have that be my main source of content, I decided to take a step back from all that and to work more on my skill sets, teaching video production, video editing skills, things like that. So I'm working a lot more on my other channel, Ed with Andy, and that's not to mean that this channel is going to be shut down or anything like that. It just means that I'm not going to be focusing on it as much. So there's not going to be as much consistent, not that it ever was, there's not going to be as much consistent content on here because um, most of my focus is going to be on that channel for uh, video editing tutorials, talking about freelance experiences, tips, um, other types of stuff. You know, I feel it's within my um, wheelhouse, if you will. And, you know, I've been going to a lot of these networking events and things like that, just kind of sharing my experiences. And it's really been making me feel positive about, about this change because, you know, I just talk and share with my experiences with other people. And, you know, they, they see my work and they all love it. And I've even shared some of my works at the networking events. And it's all been you know, positive reviews, everything. So that's, that's very nice. And it's also given me the itch to kind of get out there and uh, do more professional work as well. So to be, you know, needing some new gear, because as you guys know, I sold all my gear um, when I first started my full-time job, because basically ran out of money. So <laughs> I'm going to be saving up for some new gear. It's not going to be quite as fancy as my old gear, but we all got to start somewhere. And I think just in the effort of creation, it's going to give me a lot more inspiration for making new things and starting up new projects. And one of the projects that I'm really looking forward to starting next year is my own video editing course. I've had a lot of people talk to me about, oh, what? camera gear should I get? How do I get started as an editor? What do I do? What should I buy? And just all this kinds of random questions. And I wanted to put together my own course detailing my own experiences with that rather than just talk about it in just a single YouTube video because it's, it's a very nuanced and intricate subject that I can't just put into a single video unless it's like four hours long or something and not everybody's going to sit through a four hour, four hour long tutorial. Most people can barely sit through a four minute tutorial. Just saying. Don't know if I'm gonna put it on Skillshare or Udemy or maybe somehow put it up on YouTube. I don't know quite yet, 
but um, it is something that we're going to be putting together um, moving forward into next year. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I don't have a release date for it or anything. I'm still working on the scripting and getting the, the basic concepts and everything down. So, but that's going to be probably the main project that I'm looking forward to working towards in 2024. And because of that, I'm not going to be as dedicated to making anti Japandi type stuff as I was. You know, just because I think that I should be focused a bit more on video production type stuff. I feel that it's kind of the thing that I've been avoiding for a while because I wanted to be known more for my travel content. But, you know, I feel like people know me more for my video editing content anyway. So why not embrace it instead of run from it? And it is also a lot more profitable too, just saying, but uh, it is there. And again, it's not to say I'll never make any Japanese videos ever again or anything like that. It's just, that's going to be taking a back seat for the time being while I work on uh, video production stuff. And yeah, who knows what the, my, the future might hold. I might even put out a podcast or something. I don't know. <laughs> that seems to be the, uh, the it thing to do for, um, for creators, make a podcast and stuff. I don't know, but we'll see. And that's just kind of the direction that I'm looking forward to going into, moving into 2024. And uh, yeah, so for those who've stuck with me during this tumultuous time in 2023, oui. um, I just want to say thanks. It really means a lot that you guys have stuck through with me through this time because it's been a hell of a year. To, uh, to say the least, you know, and I feel pretty positively now moving into next year, focusing more on my creative skills and just marketing myself and getting myself out there and showing myself to the world what I can do from a skill set perspective rather than a personality perspective. And... I think it's going to go really well. So if you guys aren't following me on that channel, it's youtube.com slash edit with Andy. Um, put, probably put a link down below, pinned in the comments or something like that. I don't know, but it's not a hard man to find. So if you guys are interested in video production, freelance video editing, things of that sort, then be sure to follow me there. And with that said, guys, this is Andy. It's on it for now for the last time, 2023. We, and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.